Hey, it's Mike from Hillside Hives. I just wanted to do a video today. Just, you know what? I wanted to do something a little different. Not much going on in the apiary today. I was going to go in the apiary and show you some bees. But you know what? It's 85 degrees out and like 70% humidity. And I'm not even going to show myself in this video because I am a hot mess. I look like John Candy in that movie uh, where they went on vacation with his, his brother-in-law. I can't remember the name of it. Great Outdoors. When he lost his donkey or lost... Anyway, I'm rambling. I thought I would just show you, give you an update. Here's the new queen with the skinny mini. And they're locked in. Um, they're doing okay. I just peeked in, I gave them some fresh food. And there's a bunch of bees in there, so they're doing okay. So fingers crossed that they do okay. Um, I'll check these girls. This is the Carniolian queen that I just put in the other day. And here's the other one that I just put in the other day. So I'll check them tomorrow and release the queen if she's not released because she's been caged up for a couple days. I was gonna clean up this can. This can is like the sugar that they came, that came with them in the package, but there's still some sugar water in there and watch when I lift this up. They love it. The bees really like it. This is like they're, they're hanging out eating down there. So we're gonna leave that in there. One tip I have for folks is hive tools. I keep a hive tool at every one of my stations. So I have a hive tool here. I have a hive tool over there. I have a hive tool up there and a hive tool over there because I notoriously will forget my hive tools. I'm going to show you some water stations that I have around the beehives too because one of the most important things that you need to do too is provide water for your bees. I know they'll go and they'll find creeks and rivers, um, but if you don't provide enough water, one of the things is my neighbor lives about a couple houses down that way. And last year the bees decided to go to her swimming pool. So I up my watering stations uh, here this year. Plus they have the river. The Connecticut River is actually literally right other than that mountain like right there is a Connecticut River so there are plenty of places for these bees to drink but I like these little water stations I broke a terracotta pot by accident so I put it on top of here and put this little metal thing you can get at Walmart for like two bucks put some rocks in actually I put sand on the bottom and I put rocks in and I put terracotta so when I bring the water down I get the terracotta wet because they like to sit on the terracotta and suck the water up from that so I have one there I have one right here there's a water station right there. I just cover them up. I think they look quirky. I think they look just different. While we're here, here's the Saskatraz bees and the war I have. This is by far my best hive. Let's take a look in. They're building new comb on this end down here. And boy, this is just, look at them in and out here. This is my best hive. I swear I'm going to do all worry hives next year. Forget this fuss with every these Langstroths. But uh, Saskatraz here. So I checked she's laying in here. That was one of the new queens I had to get um, last week. So, or two weeks ago. So she's doing okay. She's laying. This one I don't check. I don't check the worry hive whatsoever. So if we go up the steps, I'm going to show you another feeding, or I'm sorry, water station. I put one right here by my nukes. This is an empty nuke um, because somebody's gonna be graduating. Coco Peru, I think, is gonna graduate this week into a nuke. So over here I have two watering stations. My Italian hives up here. I left the sugar out. This is a, a winter sugar board. I just left that out to eat. And this is my mess because my hill's collapsing, so. This is going to be filled in, but I need more energy to do it. My Russians. Another watering station with a sugar board out here. There's a feeding station right up here um, that has sugar water in there. It's my community feeder and it's empty. So they like that. I want to show you what I did up here. I'm trying this out. It's kind of cool. It's of course you see it's working really well. I put sugar water in here. See this hive has no feeder in it um, So I put some sugar water on the terracotta and hopefully these bees will have that to drink or eat And then my three Italians Look at these pretty little yellow flowers up here. It's they're basically just weeds, but and a very gardeny you can see my hives are surrounded by all these flowers very protected from this heat when you come up oh my I found this rock the other day I love rocks in the garden 
I have another feeder right there. Uh, water, I'm sorry. So water right over here. And as you can tell, they're still doing the road. We have a dirt road here. Don't mind the garden. I haven't gotten to it yet because I don't want to roll into the dirt. And they put two square posts in here. All these are round posts and they put two square ones in. Oh, look at all this is round, 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 round. And they put two square posts in. I have to move. That's another reason to move. That's it from the hives today. Oh, look at my flowers coming up. Oh, I love them. They're pretty. All right. I hope you have a great day.